James Harden recently did an interview with GQ, and let's just call a spade a spade. James Harden is really mad that he did not win the MVP award for the 2018-2019 season. It's worth noting that James Harden did not show up to the player awards. He obviously knew through the grapevines that Giannis was going to win the award, and he didn't even want to be on that stage and look Giannis in the eye and tell him congratulations. Now, maybe behind the scenes, Giannis told Harden, or Harden told Giannis congratulations. I don't know. But Harden did an interview, like I say, two weeks ago, and it was at a Houston radio station, and they asked him about the MVP race, and he said he felt like the media spins narratives. So that energy continued in his GQ interview when he was asked about that comment he made about how he says the media is spinning narratives for the MVP award. This is what he said. He said, look, the, the narrative hasn't been spent for this season yet. It's too early. But wait until the preseason and when the regular season starts to begin. But the media for sure got some teams that they lock in on. We all know. That's just what it is. You can't tell me that a guy whose team was a 14 seed at one point last year and ended up a 4 seed with everything that was going on, so many injuries. And I went on a 32-game, 30-point streak, eight 50-point games, two 60-point games in one season. And all we talking about is Giannis? There's no way. I just had to look at what I could do to get better for next year. You can't powder be mad. And the kid had an unbelievable season. So did his team. But the things I was putting up were legendary. You going to look back in 10 to 15 years from now and be like, is this really true? Did that really happen? That's some stuff that they were doing back when Kareem and all those other guys were playing. But I'm happy. We have a team goal of winning the championship. And I'm ready to get that going now. So let me take up for Harden real quick. Before I give my closing remarks, you can't ask athletes to be honest and then get mad at them when they give you their honest answer. If homie really feel like he got screwed in that MVP race and this is his art and this is his craft, I'm not mad at him for taking it personal. If he takes the offensive end of the court and the accolades that come with being great on the offensive, offensive end of the court personal and he really wants to be the MVP, I'm not mad at Hard for being upset about not winning the award and feeling like the media spins narratives. We can't ask athletes to be honest and then get mad at them for being honest. He gave you his real. He gave you his truth. Now, let me say this. Giannis Antetokounmpo won that MVP award fair and square. Here's what I think Harden is missing. Yes, he was amazing last year, an iconic year offensively. He said it himself. He knows all his stats. Eight 50-point games, two 60-point games, 32 straight games of 30 or more. He know all his stats. My question for Harden is, were you too focused on your stats? Right? Because to get to a 14th seed, at some point your team was bad. Giannis never allowed his team to get to that point. And as great as you were offensively, there was a guy in Milwaukee who was just as dominant in the regular season defensively. And we don't want to compare Giannis' offense to your defense, to your, it's not even a comparison. Hard. It's like he doesn't even want to acknowledge the other end of the court. He ain't even, even in this interview, it's like defense doesn't even exist. He's bad defensively. Like, he's all-time bad for as great a, a, an offensive player. There's got to be a list out there for that. Is We got to do a list for some of the great all-time offensive talents. And Harden's got to be in the top three, top four as being one of the greatest offensive talents to be that bad defensively. Like, usually when a guy's that great offensively, they push themselves to be the greatest defender that they can be because it helps them be the greatest player they can be. Harden is an anomaly. He don't give a damn about defense. And it does kind of strike me. And all he was doing was answering the question that he was asked. But if we're still talking about this and we're literally a month and a half away from the new season and we're still talking about an MVP award that was given out months ago, I just kind of want to understand, like, can you even turn off not winning that award, right? Like, how much of that is you winning the award? Like, is that your forefront? How much of that is at the forefront 
of what you put in every year. Because to be honest with you, what I see from James Harden every year is a guy that goes super, super hard through April or May, first round of the playoffs, second round of the playoffs, and he's gassed. See, what I want Harden to understand is if Giannis wanted to, if LeBron wanted to, if Kawhi wanted to, they could go every night and put up 30 points a game as well. Harden, you're taking 45 shots to get 30 points. They can do it too. But they choose to pace themselves differently. My question for Harden is, is he so worried about the MVP award, not criticizing him, that he's forgetting that this is a marathon, not a sprint? Is he that damn concerned with winning the MVP award and his stats? He can name you every stat that he's got out there that it it allows him not to focus on defense or focus on winning in May. That's my only question for Harden. Is he too stat driven to the point where it's it's hindering his focus on the defensive end of the court and pacing himself in April, May? I'm telling you right now that some of them greats in the NBA, Kevin Durant could go out and score 30 every given night. But he chooses to pace himself for the playoffs.